before this video starts, I just wanted to tell you guys that I have an ulcer in my tongue, so I might talk a bit weird. Just to let you guys know. In this video, I'll be ranking the Punch-Out opponents, and I'll be excluding Donkey Kong because since he's not originally from the series, I feel like I would be a bit biased on where I rank him. So, let's get into it. Let's start with the one that I ranked the lowest, Mr. Sandman. Mr. Sandman isn't really interesting compared to the others. I do like that he looks like a stereotypical boxing champion for the final opponent, but other than that, he's just not that interesting to me. Next, the second lowest ranked character, Bald Bull. I love Bald Bull's psychotic personality. I also love that in the title defense mode, he doesn't fall once his health goes down, and the only way to make him fall is to give him a star punch once he's at low health, which makes the fight difficult. As much as I like the character, I don't find him as interesting as the others. The third lowest ranked opponent is Sotopaminsky. <laughs> I love his theme song. It's literally a male choir singing the punch-out theme, which is pretty epic. I also love his obsession over Soda and how it plays a role in the fight. Just like Bald Bull, I find the other opponents more interesting than Soda. Fun fact, did you know that his name was originally Vodka Drunkenski, but it was later changed because it wasn't a kid-friendly name? On to the next one! King Hippo. I find fighting King Hippo interesting. You have to punch him in the face once his mouth is open, and then punch his belly and then repeat until his health runs out. Another thing I find interesting about him is that he's the only character that's not a stereotype. He's just a guy that lives on a tropical island that is, um, king of some kind. Moving on, we're at ninth place, which goes to Great Tiger. I really like his design. It gives me Aladdin vibes, which is probably my second favorite Disney movie. I also like that he makes doppelgangers to mess with you, which is kind of cheating, but come on. He's not the only one that cheats in this game. I also like his voice and the noises that he makes when he gets punched. In 8th place, we have Aaron Ryan. I love how psychotic this guy is and how unique his fight is. He runs around the ring and you have to punch him once he makes an attack. Also in the title defense mode, he friggin' pulls out a rope tied to a boxing glove and swings it around and you have to dodge it at the right time. And once he's about to fall, he will make an attack with his weapon, so you have to be ready for it. This guy's so insane and I love him. In <laughs> seventh place, we have Piston Honda, or in this version, Hondo. Not only is this guy a bit wacky, but he's also kind of a badass. I love his reaction when you dodge his attacks, and also what he says before he falls down. That's it. I have it. That's all I got. He's just cool. Sixth place goes to Bear Hugger. Oh yeah, get the hat on and put, now get your tail out of my eyes. How can I fight like that? Bear Hugger is such a fun character. He's one of the few that doesn't mind that he lost to Little Mac in the title defense mode. He just seems to enjoy boxing. I don't think he cares if he wins or lose. One of the things that's so ridiculous about him is that he has a bear for a coach. I also love that his companion in the title defense mode is a squirrel with boxing gloves. Another thing I love about him is what he says when he falls. This guy's the best. In fifth place, we have Disco Kid. I've got the disco fever. Can you feel the rhythm? This kid is the only character in this game that is new to the series. And for a new character, he's pretty great. I love that his idle animation and some of his attacks are all about dancing. I also like that he doesn't seem to hate the fact that he lost to Little Mac and doesn't act villainous like some of the others. Even though he has a bit of self-love, he doesn't give me the urge to punch him in the face like some others. And fourth place goes to Glass Joe. Bonjour! Bonjour! <laughs> Glass Joe is the first fighter, so he's a wimp. But that's what's so lovable about him. That, and how confident he is. 
It's pretty funny that he starts off being super easy and then when he returns in the title fence mode, he becomes so much harder that it makes you think, oh no, how hard are the others going to be? He's a really goofy character and I love him for it. We're now at the top three, and the one in third place is Super Macho Man. Oh, these sunglasses? You can't afford these sunglasses and get your hands off the ropes. This guy is the best. He's an absolute jerk, but he's so ridiculous, you can't hate the guy. His reactions to dodging his attacks is priceless. Dude, bogus. I also love that the audience actually boo at him. It doesn't make him unique considering it's the same as Aaron Ryan, but it does add a bit of silliness to him. He seems to be a fan favorite in the fandom, and I don't blame him. He's the best American in the game. Now, I will announce my second favorite opponent, and that is Von Kaiser. Das ist Boston, Little Mac, und kein Tantencafe. I really like his character design, and that he is a German veteran. I enjoy his cartoony villainous personality, and some of his quotes. Ich, deutsche Position, du Windmühle. He kind of reminds me of my brother, not because he looks or acts like him, but because he's been to German class and probably understands what he's saying more than me. And finally, my number one favorite opponent, other than Donkey Kong, is Don Flamingo. Aha! Ole! I love this character. Just something about him being a cocky a-hole makes him a charming character to me. I also like some of his quotes. ¿Has visto, hombre? ¿Cómo enamoro a las chicas? And that his fighting style is mixed between bullfighting and tango. So yeah, that is my list. If you guys have a Wii U, I highly recommend getting Punch-Out. It's such a fun game. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.